Joining us now via Skype is Johns Hopkins surgeon and advocate for transparency in medicine, Dr. Marty McCary. Insurance or no insurance, you get a bill for $650,000 for a four-day stay in the hospital. I, I mean, I, I have to tell you, I, I've heard of a lot of really high bills, but this may take the cake. That should be a $30,000 to $50,000 procedure. You look it up on any one of these reference space price websites, they are price gouging. It is a disgrace. They should be ashamed of themselves. They should forgive the entire bill. They should apologize, not just to Frank, but to the entire community that they serve. American hospitals were built to serve their communities, not to gouge them. So, Dr. McCurry, how do you handle this? How do you prevent this from happening to you? Well, first of all, um, we need public accountability around our nation's hospitals. And if you've been gouged, you not only take it to the person at the call center, you go over, the, over their head if you've been treated unfairly. You go right to the revenue cycle department. You go to the hospital CFO. You go to the C-suite. Have the hospital operator connect you. You go to the hospital board members. We have 20 steps people can do to fight an unfair bill at restoringmedicine.org. And we have to remember that they are there to serve communities, not to gouge them. But how can you get your insurance company, if you've honestly paid into the system, how can you get them to cover this in a scenario like Frank's? What can you do to help facilitate that? Well, first of all, people need to fight with their insurance companies when they've been treated unfairly. We all know that. But when it's over your head, get help. There are advocacy groups out there. There are groups that you can hire, like Frank did. And that group was able to lower this bill initially down, I think, to 200000 or something from 650 How do you go from a bill of 650 to 200 to what I hope is next free because they should be embarrassed at what happened? You need help. You need these advocacy groups to help you. In these emergency type of scenarios, what is the best way to try to ensure before you get a big surgery like this done that your insurance company isn't going to balk at paying for it? There's a law that people don't know about it. I think it for sure in California, and I think most of the country, there is a law that says if there's an emergency surgery, by law, the insurance company has to pay. And I've had patients who have successfully got legal help and they're able to get completely everything taken care of. As soon as you get legal, the insurance says no, they have no chance to stand on this. They play this game because they know a lot of patients don't know about this. And that's powerful information we all need to know when you say, hey, by law, that this is an emergency, my insurance has to cover this. Well, you, you as a patient, you may not feel like you have any rights when you get that bill, but the truth is you do. Frank, thank you for speaking up, speaking out, getting the the care that you needed. We're going to have more resources, as I said, on our website.